How are you doing today, sir? How are you, Steve? We've done interviews for years, haven't we? We have. And it's it's funny you mentioned that because I want to specifically talk about one. It was March of, tw- you will not remember, it was March of 2016. And I asked you about your interest in coming back to do an Obi-Wan something. At the time, I was thinking a movie. It was huge. It got a tremendous amount of traffic. It got picked up everywhere. And you, in the interview, you literally told me your idea for what ended up being the Obi-Wan series. It was like, literally, in that interview, you're like, this is, you know. And anyway, I want to know, how long have you been talking to Lucasfilm about making this? I don't know if we'd, I, 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 that must have been before I was talking to them, because once I started talking to them, I wasn't able to talk about it anymore. So maybe we did, a, maybe we did our interview just before. It came about because I was always asked, like you asked me, you know, would you do him again? Would you play him again? And um, I started feeling like, yeah, I, I started thinking that it might be a good idea, that there must be a great story between Revenge of the Sith and um, A New Hope. But that's interesting that we spoke about. That's so funny. I think I remember, I think I remember, maybe not our interview, but the, the sort of aftermath of it, you know. Oh, it was everywhere. It was one of those interviews where I was like, oh, this went really well for both me and the possibility of you coming back. So it's being billed as a six episode limited series. And I'm asking this question of you as the executive producer. If it is a hit, people love it. Um, is there a possibility for more or is it sort of like we're just going to do the six episodes? Well, at the moment, we're just doing the six episodes. It was very much set up and made to be a limited series. And and um, so that's how it stands at the moment. I Listen, if it does very well and Disney are excited about the pros- prospect of doing another one, uh, then I, I'd loved, I, I loved, I loved doing it. I loved play, I loved working with Deborah Chow. I loved working with the new technology. And I thought our scripts were really good. And I, and I, I feel like the, the experience of doing it with the crew who were, you know, so passionate about it. like so many Star Wars fans in the crew of Star Wars pro- um, projects nowadays, that it makes the experience really exciting. And, um, so I'd be totally up for doing more, I, but but uh, but uh, I can guarantee at the moment it's just a standalone thing. Of the six episodes, do you have a favorite? I have moments of yeah, I've got some favorite moments. Right, so there's not one full episode; it's more like moments. Yeah, they're all really strong. I mean, they're really strong. I, I've seen them all, and I really like them all. I think I'm pretty blown away by Deborah Chow, to be honest. I think she's. I mean, I knew she was great from The Mandalorian, but. I mean, you imagine tackling, like, directing every episode of this, and the, with the weight of the <laughs> the weight of the fandom on your shoulders. You know, Whew. she's done um, an amazing job, really an amazing job. And I, I, I can't pick one. I, they're all, you know, they're all, they're all. It's like one. The beautiful thing about it is that it, we, because we have Deborah as our director for the, all of them, just felt like we were shooting a movie. It didn't feel like we were shooting. If we'd had different directors for each episode, then it would have felt more episodic. And uh, uh, because Deb's singular voice goes through them all, it did feel like just one long movie. And the episodes fall naturally within the story, but it is one driving narrative from start to finish. So therefore, there isn't really a favorite uh, episode. Sir, I cannot wait to see this series. And uh, I'm already out of time. I can't believe it. Um, Hopefully I can talk to you again for this at another point. Yeah, Um, maybe I'll see you down the line. Yeah, thank you so much for your time and I'm so happy you made this. Cheers, man. Take care.